welcome to my channel FWA4. In this video, we're going to be doing issue 31. So in issue 31, we're going to be doing stages 115, which is just here, and also 116, which is going to be this section as well. So it looks like we're going to be doing 115 is going to be, let's have a look. So it's going to be the deck lighting and the windshield wipers. And then it's going to be the cockpit ceiling and sun visors. So I don't know why they would make us put these lamps on top, then turn it over and then put this panel in. It doesn't make sense to me because obviously if we tip it upside down, there's a chance that the lights are going to break. So we'll see. We'll get all the pieces out for stages 115. And then you will need to go and grab two cables from your model itself. And it's going to be the cable marked with an E. And it's also going to be the cable marked with an L as well. So the first one we're going to be using is the L. The second one is going to be the E. So what we need to do is grab all our pieces out and then we'll be back in just a second. So there you go guys, all the pieces are now out. So what we need to do next is we just need to see what they want us to do. So, right, so we're starting with the larger cable first, which is gonna be this one here. And the larger cable here is saying uh, for us to bend down one of the cables and to fit it into 115B and then add 115A. It's not telling us to screw anything into place it is just literally asking us to pop this light through the back of this like so and then it's saying to hold that into place and to bend the cable down which makes me think it will possibly fall out I don't know and then it's saying to insert Okay, that's fine. I'm guessing we need to push it into there, but it doesn't tell you to do that. But I'm guessing that that would need to go in there. So let's push the the LED into that hole, like so. It doesn't tell you to do this, but you pretty much need to. So that pushes into that hole like so. That cable goes through there. And then you line up and then bend and twist the cable until it clicks into place. So by the looks of it, it already has like preset holes, but it didn't say for us to put the LED in the center, but we clearly need to do that, but it doesn't say for you to do that. So if we do that again on another one, so we'll just push that LED through the hole like so. So it's through there like that. And then what we need to do is then push this LED into that blue lens like so. And then this goes together like that. And then it's there's no glue required, just literally a push down. So that goes through there, they want us to do. So they just want it to be exactly like that. What they want us to do as well is they want us to go and do the other ones. So we'll probably fast forward through. Now we've showed you these ones, we'll fast forward through doing the back ones, but that is pretty much what it wants us to do there. So you need to go take E, and do exactly the same thing. So we're gonna go do that now and we'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, just so that I can show you real quick on this, there is a small hole and a big hole. So um, there's a small, there's a big hole one side and there's a small hole the other side on this. And then on this, one of them is larger and one of them is smaller. So obviously the smaller one, smaller tab goes into the small side, the big tab goes into the big side. So then it's gonna be a lot easier to install them when you do it. So that is what you need to check out for. I don't know whether they explain that in the instructions, but there are pretty much just pictures. So we're just gonna pop this one through and carry on with this. And then I'll show you guys in just a second. Right guys, now that the lights are done, they should look like this and like this. So the smaller ones go to the back, longer ones to the front. Just gonna pop those down here out the way for the moment. And what it wants us to work on next are gonna be the little wiper blades and they want us to install those onto the vehicle as well. So you have 115D 
and 115G, which are these little tiny brackets here. And they want us to install the wiper arms onto them as well. I don't know if they're labeled or not. One says L and one says R, so left and right, which is pretty cool. So this one would have this wiper blade arm but this way round with the little pin on it so that's fine and these actually just push into there like that so I'll show you what it looks like that and then these wiper blades tiny little wiper blades they sit over the top of here and they have a small little screw that goes through to hold these wiper blades on so we'll go pop one of those in so that's going to be an rp screw a very tiny little screw we're going to just stick that through to hold that into place and then we'll show you that as soon as we get back so if you do look on to that that does actually say l on it and this actually says l on it as well so then at least you know that it's left left and left so that you're getting all the right pieces for it Right guys, I wanted to come around and show you what they look like because they are so dinky. but there you go. So they're the wiper blade arms and wiper blades and they even move. See that? You could possibly tighten them a bit more, but once they're on the window, they'll sit nicely. But you've got your left and your right one and they do say, I don't know if you can see it on there, but on the bottom it says R for right on that one. And then on this one, it says L for left, which is just there. But so what they want us to do now, they want us to go over to the car and they want us to put them on the windshield itself. So we'll bring that over a bit closer for you so we can see. And we need to use AP screws to hold those in place. But they want us to screw it in from underneath. So I'm not sure how we're going to get to do that but we will have a quick look and we'll do it here so you can see it and then this one will sit just inside there like that but we have to screw them in from underneath so what we're going to do we're going to figure out how we can screw them in from underneath and then we'll come back in just a sec Right guys, so there you go, these wipers are now in place, so as you can see they sit up like this and they join like in the middle, so when the wipers would go up they would clear up here, come back down, the same with that side. Right, so what it wants us to do now, it wants us to take the longer cable ones, which are here, and it wants us to pop those up on top of the vehicle like so, uh, and then we need to pop this one on here. And then we have to use screws underneath to hold them in place. So I'm going to go pop those on. So they'll go in there. And then the smaller ones go on the back. Just on the back there. So we're just going to go do that. And we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, guys. We're now going to install these lights on top. So remember the small ones go towards the back. And the longer ones just go at the front here. When you are tipping this model sideways please do remember that these can possibly break off. So just please be really careful when doing that. I'm gonna just fast forward through this, but we will show you what it looks like at the end. I'm gonna to have to possibly hold this on its side while I do it or lift them up as I go. But I kind of haven't figured out the best way of doing it yet. The only horrible thing about it really is that there isn't a way of keeping these into place so i might tape them down with a bit of tape just so it's easier for when i've got them on the side let's try that first shall we let's grab a bit of tape let's put these into position so say the first one can go into position do they go anyhow that one seems like it goes better that way and I'm going to tape that down like that. 
And I'm going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to put that down there, like so. And then I'm going to put a bit of tape down and around, and then push that down. That will just kind of hold that in place while I'm trying to screw them on underneath. So let's take a couple of screws. Uh, the screws that we're going to be using are AP screws. What I'm going to be doing is just tipping the model to the side like that. And then I need to position the screw into place, making sure I don't lose it. And then I'm making sure I don't let go of the model as well. That's the other thing you want to make sure you don't do is let go of the model because that will just be so dangerous. Don't over tighten it. Take the tape off and kind of see where you're at. Just be careful not to break them. That's good, nice and tight. Just check this one. remember you cannot tip the model upside down at all now because these are so in the way you can kind of see through to see where they are that's not wobbly at all that is absolutely fine so they're the top two I don't know if you can see those very well but those are them ones so you've got the two lights now beaming on the top and that's the longest cable it goes quite far back actually I'm not sure whether it's meant to go that far back but it does what I'm going to do I'm going to fold that over and I'm just going to grab some tape and I'm going to tape that down out of the way and then we're going to move on to the back ones I'm hoping we might be able to go through the back door on this which is probably going to be a little easier. Yeah, so we can go through the back door on these ones, which is going to be so much easier for us. There you go there. So we'll go grab those pieces. We're just going to get these out, and we'll be back in just a sec. Right, so this, although this looks a little bit fiddly, I think we're going to be okay. We'll just pop that out of the way for a second. The first thing it wants us to do is to take these two sun visors, 116-16B, um, and what they want us to do is they want us to pop on this little cover here. 116C goes onto 116B, and that just goes over the top. We're going to go ahead and do both of these. So we're going to make up these two brackets here. We're going to add these tiny little weenie screws here, RP screws, into these three sections. Once we've done that, we will be back. Okay, guys, once you've put those in place, they should look a bit like that. So they'll just have those along the top there. You will now need to take your base, which is this section here, and you need to turn it around this way so that you're attaching it to this side with this little knobbly bit in here like so. So it says to grab 116, 116F which looks like this and you need to pop the rod through there that hole like so. That's it, yep, yeah. so that's in there. Slide that through and then when that's through the end that will sit in here just like that. Okay guys, so there are two GP screws now in here and in here. So what that's done is that's held this part of the sun visors onto that section there. But there is now another piece that fits into here, which is gonna hold the two together, as you can see there. So we need to take that. So that piece is here. And this piece is called 116H. And what we need to do, we need to feed through the two ends. So we need to feed that one through at the end there. Okay guys, that is now done. So as you can see there, I'll just bring the magazine over. 
So what it wants, it wants it to look like that in the end. So what we had is obviously we had the GP screws which went underneath the little tiny ones that hold these two little tabs in either side here and they just went through the back there. You want to put the two rods through and then you want them to meet in the middle. There's a little bracket which is 116H which is held in by a TP screw just through the middle there and that kind of holds the flaps on. I'm not going to lie and say this was easy. This is really difficult to do but there you go. As you can see that is how it wants it to look but that is what it wants the stage to be at that part just like that so what i'm going to do is just have a quick look through to see what's up and coming in the next issues so in the next one we have 117 which is going to be the cb radio which we're going to be attaching to the middle section of there and then in the one after that we are actually going to be attaching it um, actually, we're probably going to be doing that in 117, yeah, attaching it to the roof. And then in 118, we're going to be looking at installing, assembling the lights. So that's going to be pretty cool. So it looks like we're going to start to be working on that. It says to turn the model upside down. As you know, they've asked us to put these in, so you can't turn the model upside down. I recommend only ever turning on its side. So just so you know that. Right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.